last season went relatively well up until we got to the playoffs and then we had the home playoff game which which is what our number one goal is every year to make sure we play the playoffs so we're at home and then we, we just didn't finish last year was a bit of a rebuilding year we got hit pretty hard by the usfl in terms of players and it, it, it gutted the core of the team especially in the big this offensive line defensive line guys and and the one thing that additionally hurt us was that that was our leadership group. That was where our leaders in the locker room and leaders on the team from a player point of view, that's where those players were. Jordan McCray, uh, you know, those kind of guys uh, were the guys that, that they were like the coaches in the locker room. Um, and I think that's one of the big things that, that set us back a little bit. And it showed up uh, when we met crunch time, uh, you know, everybody's kind of looking around like, you know, who was gonna be that player to step up. You know, and then, and in, in essence, we kind of froze a little bit, for lack of a better word. Uh, so this year, we we're back again. We got hit pretty hard now by the XFL. I mean, we, we're a very talented group of team in terms of the players that we have, and so the XFL rated us this year. So a lot of new guys without indoor experience. So the big challenge to myself and the coaching staff this year is not to fall into the same trap and to create that leadership group. And so we're going to we've started that with a mentorship program for our quieter leaders that they now need to take that vocal role. Um, I think that's that's a big difference. Uh, athletically, I think we're athletically at this point better better than what we were last year on paper. Uh, and then we've got to one day and, and, the, and the guys are looking good, physical, fast, they're long, we got receivers, we got new DBs, we got a basic new defensive line with one linebacker back from last year, now all the linebackers are new. Um, so it's an exciting time for us. Uh, I, you know, could handle the right way, and if, if these guys grow and progress the way, I think or I envision that they can, uh, we'll be back competing for a championship, no doubt in my mind, uh, by the end of this year. Um, but we've got to take the baby steps and make sure that we don't make the same mistakes that we made last year. Well, obviously we've got the core of the offensive uh, passing game back. We've got, we've got an Android quarterback back. We've got T.O. wide receiver back. Uh, we've got uh, Isaac Seco, Javon Durante, which was basically three of our starting receivers, our starting four receivers from last year. So from a receiving point of view, we're, we're, we're solid there. Uh, we've got a great looking rookie in C.J. Riley, a bigger body kid, six foot four kid yesterday, looked very athletic. Um, so today now, uh, you know, we're expecting him to, to do some things for us. Uh, conversely, we've got a whole new offensive line. We've got a whole new running back core so again there's there's some offset there we're excited to see guys that Jimmy Robinson who is you know has come off a great college career very fast young man uh, quicks tremendous quicks we're interested to see what he can bring to the mix of uh, offensive line like I said it's all brand new defensively we're brand new up front now uh, we do have our nose or inside two guys which is uh the Ezekiel Rose it's my John West Pittman to Myers Pittman uh, back uh, and then we've got to find the pieces to play on the edge uh, to replace the guys that have bought the XFL to our pass for us guys. In the back end of it, we've, we've got two of our stalwarts back. Uh, we've got uh, Max Impetted, uh and we've got Harlem Miller back. Uh, Max is our middle guy, uh, and then Harlem's off one of our front side kind of corners. And, and the two of them were, were, were the guys that we started to stand out as a leadership. When that's who we're going to build a leadership defensively around those two guys. Well, Got some interesting looking young guys. Uh, we've got uh, Redfield. Uh, he's a rookie for the indoor football league. Uh, Mambe came in from uh, Green Bay. He was playing in this league last year for Green Bay. He's a Northeast guy. He lives up in the Rhode Island. So we're able to get him to stay home and come join us. And we're excited to see. He had a, a very good year uh, playing in Green Bay, playing against us for two games last year. So we, we're excited to have him on board. And then We've got some plans and some things that we think that he can really break to our defense uh, from a point of view of a strong safety type of guy. And then another kid that's got great leadership skills that we expect to be in that group that's going to start to set the, set the tone. From a style point of view, uh, you know, I'm a little bit more of an aggressive guy. We kind of like to get after it. I like to get after it defensively a little bit, uh, bring a little bit more to four-man pressures. We're going we're gonna to look to see if we can play some extra man. They'd be a little bit more physical. We've got some really long DBs. They're all six foot, six one, five eleven guys. Um, they're very physical uh, from their college careers. Obviously, I hope that translates into the indoor game. 
uh, if we can get pressure and and, and, and be into love quite a bit for our man, because we're still going to be a zone team. I mean, we're, we're overall balanced football team, but we really want to accentuate what the players, what their skill set brings to the game. Oh, so if you have a physical group, we're going to be a physical style defense. If we're not as physical, then that puts you more as a finesse, as all, you know, as wrinkles and that kind of stuff. But I, I think right now, our physical MO is there, and I think we can we can really step that up. Uh, offensively, same thing. We like to, we like to create the running game and want to be known as one of the best running teams in the league. Uh, we've got quarterbacks that can handle the passing game, or they can pull it and be very effective on the run. We're 6'4", 320 across the offensive line. It's probably the biggest offensive line we've had here, for, in, in, you know, since T definitely since I've been here for the last couple of years. Uh, so we're we're going to be able to pound the ball and be very physical and allow those guys to do what they do. Uh, and, and having said that, then that sets up our pass pro. It's a it's a relatively big passing game in this league. It's a quick passing game, but if you have to set in the box to play the run against us and commit five guys to the run, then you're gonna play a lot of man on the back end. And then, you know, man to man, I don't think there's a DB in this league they've covered T.O. man to man. So that creates a huge mismatch on the, on the backside now. It puts a lot of pressure on them to handle T.O. Same thing with Zico. Uh, same thing with Darren Carrington when he got here. C.J. Durante. Those guys are all big play guys. Uh, and so, and I don't think anybody could really hold us down man to man consistently. And if we can run the ball, that's going to create a lot of pressure up front and on the back end. And then uh, we we played Green Bay week one. Yes. You could uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, we'll get a little bit more. Uh, they've got quite a few new players. They've had a turnover in their roster from one year to the next. Uh, we're fortunate that they play our uh, opening game in week one. And, and, you know, we'll be on a bye week finishing up our training camp to get ready to play them the second week. Uh, uh, so uh, we uh, we have a little bit of an advantage in the sense that we'll have a game film of them. Uh, they play on Saturday night, uh, and then they come to play us the following Sunday. So we'll have that film to break down to look at the schemes and look at personnel. So I think that gives us a little bit of an edge. Uh, some people look at it, well, they have a game under their belt, so that might give them a little bit of an edge because they've had a game on the field before they come to us. So it, it kind of cuts both ways. Um, but uh, they, they've always been a tough team. They're scrappy. Um, they, they're wild coach. They show up to play. Uh, they, and, you know, they've been a, a staple in the IFL for a number of years. And prior to that, they were in the AF2 uh, league, which is the, old, the, the younger part of the uh, a developmental part of the old AFL. I actually have to coach that Green Bay Blizzard uh, back then when they were in AF2. I was there for four years as, as the office support and assistant head coach. So I know what that, that program does and the fan support down there and what they bring to the table as an organization. So, so we're excited, big challenge to come out the gate. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's something that we can use as a motivation for our guys to come out and, and meet one of the top teams right off the bat uh, with, with, a, with a storybook history. Uh, and of course, you know, Lambeau feels right across the street, so we kind of know what's going on there. Um, but uh, yeah, we're excited to have that game and to have a chance to, to at least see them and kind of get a little bit better feel for the players, uh, especially the newer ones that they have. And they're like us, they, they've had a significant turnover in their roster. Uh, well, again, we, you know, we, we, we're expecting our team to be one of the top tier teams in the league. I mean, we come into every year with that expectation there. You know, fans have kind of grown used to us being one of the top three, four teams in the league. And that's what, that's what our plan is coming in. Uh, exciting with some of the new players, exciting with T.O. and Joel and those guys coming back. Uh, fast pace, action sport, I, 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 you know, it's, I struggle to see that any other uh, football uh, indoor league is, is matches the talent level that they'll see when they come to watch us, watch our games and watch us play. Uh, some great teams coming in to play against us. Uh, you know, Green Bay starts it off. It's followed by uh, Bay here, which is San Jose team. Uh, that team has been completely revamped from last year. It did, did win a lot of games last year. Um, they brought in a Hall of Fame indoor coach and Darren Arbet spent years in the Arena Football League and was the head coach and GM of the San Jose Sabercats. And if you talk about indoor football, they, they set the benchmark for what indoor football was a few years back. Uh, so he's got a very expensive staff. His defensive coordinator has come over, and he was a defensive coordinator from the championship team in Northern Arizona last year. His offensive coordinator is a head coach that was in Tucson last year. So he has a very, very well established staff, and so we expect a big battle out of them. And then we, you know, we go on to play Sioux Falls. We go on to play our, our, our big rival, Frisco. 
you know, we don't really get along with, so to speak. So we have them here and down there. Um, so it's going to be an exciting year. We've got some great promotions and uh, we've got some things in the works that we, I don't want to let anything leak out or get away from the stealing the, the glory of those nights. But we've got some great promotional nights with some special events going on. Uh, we're looking forward to a, a, a big uh, you know, turnout for fans. We've got a season ticket party coming down the road to meet the, beat the players type deal. Uh, we're going to be involved here with the uh, St. Patty's Parade up in Worcester. Uh, uh, I'm up in Boston even and, and, and that. So we're excited to be getting out into the community and, and meeting the fans and, and get to shake hands and touch back bases. We've got some loyal fans. Uh, you know, I met a couple of them out at dinner the other night and you know, a couple of day coats and what knows me and the rest of them. It was a couple of our fans that were eating at the table right next to me. So it was good to, you know, feel at home. Uh, Don, the Jawad has done a great job of uh, supplying us with talent and the organization has worked hard every year to, to get better and better at what we do uh, as an overall uh, And so I'm really excited that, you know, for us to take the next step, uh, not only on the field, but off the field too as well.